So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head it with search and type in sysdm.cpl. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on the remote tab. Make sure that you have allow remote connections to this computer selected. And make sure that you have this option right here ticked as well. Now you're gonna click on select users. And then once we're here, you wanna add the user accounts that you wanna to connect to your computer, if it's not already showing here. So now I'm gonna click on add, and you can now type in the username of that account. So my other account's gonna be Speed Tutorials 2 and I click on check names, which is now gonna add it, and I click on OK, and I click on OK again, and I click on OK again. This should now fix your problem. Another thing that you could also do is you wanna head it with search and type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator, and I click on yes, and once you're on this, you're gonna type in ipconfig, click on enter. And now where it says IPv4 address, make sure that this address that you have right here is the same one as you have on the other end as well. Just double check that you put in the correct IPv4 address. And if that's still not working for some reason, then you're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter again. Now you just wanna restart your computer. Try it again, this should now fix your problem.